So when we're finding the surface area of this regular hexagonal prism, we are going to straight apply the formula for the surface area, which is 2 times the base area plus the perimeter times the height of the prism. So let's come over here and let's do a couple of calculations. I'll kick this to the side. The base area for my hexagon, we're going to use this formula because it's the most direct formula for to find the area of a hexagon if we know the side length. 3 times the side length squared times the square root of 3 all divided by 2. And if you remember, the side length was... 5 centimeters, so that's 3 times 5 squared times the square root of 3 divided by 2, which, when you put in your calculator, gives you a base area of 64.952 square centimeters. Okay, so hang on to that thing because we're going to need it for our formula, 64.952. Okay, so back here, 2 times that base area, 64.952, plus the perimeter. So the perimeter of our hexagon is the distance all the way around, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus five gives me a perimeter of... 30 times the height, and the height for my prism is the distance in between my hexagons, which in this case is 19. So if I put all of this in my calculator, well, let's do it one at a time. We'll times that by 2. 129.904 plus 30 times 19 is 570, and if I add these two things together, I get a total surface area of 699.9 square centimeters. I would need close to 700 square centimeters of paper if I were going to make this hexagonal prism. <clears throat>